it is time for a tour of the best theme park in Orlando and I can almost bet you don't know which one that I mean. Today we are doing a full tour of Universal's Volcano Bay. Today friends I am going to be taking you through the only water park that I willingly come to. I'm going to be showing you all of the best food, the rides, the drinks, the best spots to relax and all of the other fun stuff that you can do at Universal's Volcano Bay, which I think is the best water park here in Orlando, Florida. Let's get going. So first things first to get to Volcano Bay, you actually are going to park in Universal Parking and then you're gonna be able to take some complimentary buses over to the water park itself. So you will not park at the water park. And then this is actually where you're probably gonna go through security as well. On slower days, you can go through security over at the actual park itself. But on busy days, you'll go through it here at uh, parking. Alrighty, so it is a little bit of a slower day here at Volcano Bay. Uh, it's pretty rainy and it's not super warm. So we actually did go through security here at Volcano Bay. But after you do that, you're going to walk down these lovely ramps. And that's when you're gonna start seeing the entrance and the immersion begin. Here it is. I am actually a big fan of Volcano Bay. Um, I'm traditionally not a water park girly, but this one is really, really cool. And I think definitely geared more towards adults as well. So one thing that I actually really like about Volcano Bay is that it has a crazy storyline. I mean, this thing is in depth storyline. So let's get into what it is. So the storyline for Volcano Bay is that Krakatawa was originally a fiery god that kind of dominated the land and struggled to control his adventurous but free-spirited daughter, Taui Nu. When his daughter fought, fell in love with a local native, Kala, her father was furious and he actually banished Kala forever. Um, he banished him to the sky where he then becomes the moon. Then his daughter becomes just so overtaken by her grief that she cries so much that her tears eventually become the sea. Krakatawa now seeing that he really has hurt his beloved daughter just becomes determined to reunite the two lovers. So he pulls the earth towards the sky and he creates the volcano of Volcano Bay. This is how the sky, the sea, and the earth become united to form the paradise of Volcano Bay. And he takes his remaining anger and jealousy and buries it deep inside the volcano, which forms the fire spirit Vol. That one's actually really cool to me. I mean, that's just like a really beautiful and lovely story. So here we are, we have made our way to the entrance. You are also going to scan your park tickets over here. You can buy an express pass for this water park, although we don't necessarily recommend it. Um, and you can buy tickets here as well if you don't do it beforehand. So one of the first things you're gonna get here is your Tapu Tapu. And I love this thing and let, I'll tell you why. Okay, so here it is. This is a pretty decent look at the Tapu Tapu. This is a wearable kind of uh, smartwatch within reason that they give you here every single guest gets one you do not have to pay for it and it's almost a little bit like a magic band but honestly and I'll say it it's better so you get to wear it it is waterproof so you can wear it on all of the rides and basically what you do is you go and you use this and you tap in at the rides and it tells you okay the wait is 45 minutes we will tell you when to come back your watch tells you and so that way you can keep doing other rides or even go to the bar and things while you're waiting on your rides on the long times I think that's amazing. It's basically a virtual queue system. Uh, so I really love it. And you can also use it in the way that you use a magic band in the sense that you can put your card on it and not have to take your wallet with you anywhere unless you're an adult looking for some adult beverages. So just in case you are not familiar with it, Volcano Bay is Universal's only water theme park, which Universal themselves describes as a theme park just with a whole lot of water. And I think that's a beautiful way to put it. So this is Universal's most inexpensive theme park with tickets starting at just 65 for kids and 70 for adults. It does uh, range based on date. And the park is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. today, but the hours will fluctuate based on season. So make sure you're double checking that before you head here to this park. Today I'm gonna show you the three sections of this park, Wave Village, River Village, and Rainforest Village. And we're gonna break it down. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I love it here. And I never thought I would say that about a theme park. So I'm excited to show you around. So as you enter the park, the first thing you're gonna see, of course, is this lovely, beautiful volcano. But we are actually gonna start over here to the left. And this is Wave Village. This is gonna be part of Wave Village. So the first thing you're gonna find over here on the left is Hoka Poroka Ice Cream Kona. 
So this is gonna be the ice cream stop that I think everybody needs to come to at least once. This ice cream stand is where you're gonna be able to find the famous Waturi Fusion ice cream that is delicious. And it's kind of like a different combo of different flavors of a fruit and ice cream and I just, I don't know. It's 10 out of 10 and it's super Instagrammable, which I think is important for people. Right next to Ice Cream Kona, you're also going to find Waturi Marketplace. This is where you're gonna find some necessities if you need them. It's gonna be things like sunscreen, t-shirts, bathing suits, towels, anything that you might have forgotten that you need, you can find them over here. All right, so finishing over here at the ice cream stand, we are actually going to walk back uh, towards kind of where the entrance brought us in and back past the volcano because the rest of the Wave Village actually con uh, continues over this way. So first up here on the left is Krakatawa Katie's. This is gonna be another one of those spots where you can find sunglasses, uh, foam protectors, towels, t-shirts, kind of the works, whatever you need. Uh, not a huge shop, but definitely there. Alrighty, so this is the actual, this is the back side of Katie's. Um, walking around Katie's, we are going to come down this path through here. We're gonna head towards the volcano itself and the beach to check out some of the rides that are included in the Wave Village section of the park. So the first part that we're gonna get to over here is actually gonna be Waturi Beach. So Waturi Beach is a lagoon-like pool that the volcano kind of sits over top of. And if you wait around long enough, you're gonna find out it's also a wave pool. So this one actually can be tons of fun. Uh, maybe if you don't have the strongest swimmers, though, consider taking them over to the reef, which I will show you in just a second, uh, because the waves can get pretty wild. But don't worry, there's always a little sign that the waves are about to start, so you you can't be too caught off guard. So right past Watori Beach, you're actually going to find the exit also for Koakiri Body Plunge. This is a 70 degree fall through a drop door. It's 125 feet of just white knuckled fun for, for some, maybe not for me. Uh, but this dizzying descent ends with a watery tribute from Ball himself. And you're gonna pop out right here at the end of Watori Beach. So heading up these stairs past the exit for the body plunge, we are actually gonna head a little bit around these bushes here to find the entrance to Koakiri Body Plunge. That's where this is uh, at. You can see here where the Tapu Tapu is. It's actually right now, so you can go ahead and hop on. But also at the base of it is where you're going to be able to find another waiting pool. So this section is the reef. It's actually not open today, but it is a relaxing waiting pool where guests can come and watch people through the clear sections of the body plunge if you want to. Now, today has been uh, thundering off and on throughout the morning and lightning, so that's why part of those parks are closed, but still looks cool. So now we're backtracking just a little bit. We're gonna walk back past the exit for the body plunge and head to what I think is probably one of the most important parts of this entire park. Uh, and I, I bet you can guess what it is. All right, so here it is. This is one of the many bars here in Volcano Bay, and this is Dancing Dragon's Boat Bar. This is a full service bar that has, does have specialty drinks that you can find here. This is also where you're gonna grab those reusable cups uh, that we highly recommend making sure you grab one of, so that way your drinks are a little bit cheaper the next time you head back to the bars. And for any of the bars in Volcano Bay, if you're look, trying to find a way to get there, you know, you're looking for that North Star, this is where you're gonna find it. And anytime you look for a bar, this is it. You're gonna look for the big sails. All right, so I've walked through Dancing Dragons uh, and come out to this little seating area right over here. And I'm gonna show you one of the last things that is considered to be part of Wave Village right over here. Okay, so we have actually walked a little bit back towards the entrance just to kind of give you an idea of where we are. We've made a mini circle and that's gonna take us back to the last part of Wave Village and that's Kaloha Reef Restaurant and Social Club. So this is a quick service themed park spot that offers kind of casual fare such as cheeseburgers, but even a few Caribbean specialties. This is also one of the places where you can get the famous coconut crusted fried chicken. And frankly, I'm gonna be eating today. This is the best theme park food anywhere. I uh, just don't know what yet. So maybe we'll head back here later. All right, so that's it for Wave Village. Pretty small, first section of the park you're gonna get to. And one thing that you're gonna notice as we're kind of walking around is a lot of things are in like little circles, like little subsects. So we're gonna be back and forth quite a bit today, but the nice thing is if you're actually here on your vacation, you're gonna know where everything is and you don't have to go in those little circles. You can just do a big circle around the park. So continuing on to our next section of the park, we are passing Dancing Dragons right now. We're gonna keep heading straight for just a second, and this is gonna be some of the first uh, lockers and restrooms that you're gonna find. This is the Wave Village uh, West section. This is where the restrooms and lockers are. The Tapu Tapis do allow you to use some of the lockers for free, but if you have quite a bit of things, you can purchase bigger ones. Uh, on our best day ever, Volcano Bay, we did purchase the, the larger ones because we had a lot, but don't fret if you don't have that much they have free ones. All right, so we are done with the Wave Village and now we are headed into the River Village because this is a water park and they need to be water themed. All right, so one thing I love about Volcano Bay is they have the, their little North Star moments. You know, you always know there's always the volcano in the middle and from there you can find anything. So first, 
River Village. You're gonna walk past these really fun alligator statues and you get to go over their version of the Lazy River. So the first thing you're going to come do down this way is going to be Hanoika Moana. So you're gonna walk along this path and you're gonna find this fun little covered area, another bridge that goes over top of their Lazy River. And that's where you're gonna find the Hanoika Moana rides, the raft ride. So this is actually two raft rides in one. The first is Hano of Hanoika Moana, and the other one is Ika Moana of Hanoika Moana. You got that? Different raft rides. The first Hano of Hano is a twisting, turning, multi-person water slide where you can surf the undercurrent of a four-passenger raft. This one, I can't lie to you, it's fun. And I don't I don't like water rides. <laughs> this one is fun. And while that one might be tons of fun, my preferred is Ika Moana of Hanu. This one, Ika Moana, lets you go with the flow as you glide along a five passenger raft. And it's a little bit more calm, which is definitely more my speed. All right, so we're gonna go back across the bridge and continue our fun River Village journey. All right, so here are the exits for the raft ride. So we are gonna walk back past the exit back up the stairs and you're gonna see that bridge we initially came across but instead of going back across the bridge we're gonna go to the right one thing I do love about Volcano Bay is there is also tons and tons of seating all throughout the water park um, I have never ever had trouble finding seating here even on the busiest days as long as it didn't fill up to capacity which it will often do all right so another thing we're gonna get to is here on our left and it's gonna be Runamuck Reef this is where you're gonna find Runamuck Reef and Tatiki Reef oh my goodness I think it's, is it raining? No, it's just the water park. So here in this area, for your younger kiddos, you're gonna find Runamuck Reef and Tatiki Reef. This is going to be a play pace for kids with bubbling geysers, water guns, slides, dump cups, lots of fun things. This is also where kiddos are gonna be able to play among splish splash slides and tot sides volcanoes. This is a lot of fun and it's just a really beautiful colorful area where kids can run around and have a good time. There's even like a huge jungle gym-esque uh, section for them. I don't know, just lots of fun for your kiddos and lots and lots of things for them to do. So definitely check this out if you have younger ones. But we are going to head back out and hopefully not get faux rained on again because I thought it was raining for real. Oh my goodness. Next up is Kopikoai Winding River and this is their version of the Lazy River at Volcano Bay. So if you're not looking for something like super fast paced or you're just looking for a way to get around the park and chill, this is where you're going to hop in. So continuing straight past the kiddos reefs, you're gonna find the River Village restroom and lockers. Same deal as the last ones, lockers, there's free ones, there's paid ones, and there's restrooms. You can also get towel rentals at these locker stations as well. Next up is Waka Waiwai Eats, which is one of the quick surfaces here. And with pizza hot dogs and the famous jerk shrimp mac and cheese, I recently, during our best day at Volcano Bay, which is me, Quincy, and Fry Bucket, my two of my friends, if you have not seen that, check it out. We recently got to eat here then. I have not stopped thinking about the pizzas literally since that day. I'm probably gonna get a pizza today. So then as we continue through River Village, uh, we are wrapping up over here, but to the left, you're going to find the Piece de Resistance, the entirety of Volcano Bay, honestly. I was gonna say River Village, but no, Volcano Bay. So this right here is the Krakatawa Aqua Coaster. This is a four-person canoe-esque slide that goes up through the mist and into dark twists and turns throughout the volcano before you emerge into a plunge through a shimmering waterfall. You guys, this is so much fun. This is easily my favorite ride in the entirety of the park. Best time ever, but it can get a crazy long wait line. So we highly recommend coming in here first during the day, using your Tappy Tappy to go ahead and secure your spot in line and then go and hang out and doing some other fun stuff. All right, next up, me and this crazy music are gonna go check out Rainforest Village. So let's get it. So after you walk past the Krakatawa Coaster, you're gonna hit Rainforest Village. And Here is Taniwa Tubes, and there are two of them, Tonga and Rocky. The Tonga Slides entry point is right here to the left, and the Riki is to the right. If you're looking for a faster and more intense experience, you're going to want to hop on Riki's water slide, but both of these are tons and tons of fun. For our next full bar here, we have the Kanuku Boat Bar. This is another one of those full service bars with the amazing sale so that way you can easily find it. This also has the exact same offerings as the last one. The bars don't vary much here, but it's nice because you can grab whatever you like throughout different sections of the park. They're not always going to be open like this one. It is a slower day, so this bar is not open, but on busy days, you can bet all of the bars throughout the park will be open. So right across from that bar, you're actually going to find one of the entrances to Teawa Fearless River. So this is actually the basically the opposite of a lazy river. This attraction is a fast moving experience that kind of has sudden and churning rapids, choppy waves, and can be up to six feet deep in certain areas. You are required to wear a life jacket no matter how strong of a swimmer you are. 
And I have to say, I love this thing. There is actually a separate entrance. You don't necessarily have to get on this side, but this one is so much fun. We went around two or three times when we were here for our best day. And let me tell you, I did not think I would like it that much. I thought I'd want to get in and get out. I could have stayed in it all day long. All right, so heading past to one of the Teawa Fearless River entrances, we're gonna head a little bit closer to the actual volcano itself. And it sounds like maybe see some friends hanging out on the uh, aqua coaster. Let's see. This is so much fun. Krakatawa, I cannot recommend hi like highly enough. It is a blast. Now, if you're in the mood for some racing, you're gonna have to head over here to Punga Racers. This is where single riders can get sent down on a body slide down four different lanes through underwater sea caves. This one is kind of like a race. Uh, when I was here with Quincy and Fry Bucket, I won, of course, no question. Um, so definitely, if you're looking to kind of test with your friends, do a little test run, see who can win, it'll be, if you're like me, it'll be you. Um, and yeah, come over here. There's four different slides that you can go down at the exact same time and see who's the best. But we are walking past that and Entrance, and this is where that those body slides are actually going to pop out in case you're trying to gauge where we are right now So these are so much fun. I actually am not a huge fan of body slides, but as far as body slides go th This one was fun. I was not scared. It wasn't nerve-wracking, which I thought it would be uh, But this is where you're gonna pop out when you hop off of those rides and I'm gonna head back up these stairs and just in case you're like okay where she where did she go where, where the heck did we land look it's the sails our personal north star the bars so that's what we've made basically a small mini circle and landed back here at the bar so right here next to the bar though is where you're going to find feasting frog this was one of my favorite quick service locations that we got to try there are some awesome tacos here ahi tuna nachos other little quick service options for you um, it is not open all day though so if you're wanting to try those items make sure that you check before you head all the way over here you also can get loaded nachos which fry and quincy really really loved all right so heading past the lovely feasting frog. This is where we are going to find ourselves over on Hammerhead Beach. So Hammerhead Beach is a much less crowded beach as you can tell. There are, is hardly anyone here and it is a slower day but this is a really nice beach if you're looking to hang out be close to a bar and a quick service. This one's normally pretty empty as well and it's where you're going to find that other entrance to the Teawa Fearless River. Highly recommend hanging out over here. There's also lots of shade. So the, the poke bowl here at feasting frog was really really good and I'm, the carne asada tacos also smell amazing but there's just not a lot of time we're trying to get through this whole tour there's lots of things to see we don't have time for that I don't know what happened I fell and I tripped and I was at feasting frog and I, I, I blacked out and I got the tacos so in case you're curious because I am now making this a food review uh, these are carne asada tacos so it's got steak uh, queso fresca purple onions lettuce and cilantro on flour tortillas. Let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, quick notes. Really good, the meat is soft and tender. There's a lot of queso, which I love. And honestly, I like the lettuce a lot. I normally don't have like tons of lettuce on my carne asada, but it's good. All right, two tacos down, one tour of Volcano Bay to complete. We keep going, we keep trekking people. So here we are, we are walking past the bar and Feasting Frog and we are going to head to the right over here to check out a few more rides back in this area. I will say, if you are ever confused or you wanna know about wait times, there are tons of these electronic signs throughout the park that will tell you the active wait times for everything. Right now, today is a great day to be here because everything is a ride now. Again, it is not busy today, but it can get crazy busy. All right, continuing along this path, you're gonna see some Fun times being out down there, uh, but we are actually going to walk up on these raft slides. Next up, if you're looking for some raft rides, we have Maku and Puihi. The Maku is the five-person raft ride. It slides at high speeds through the volcanic gorge before spinning, and then Puihi is a five-person raft ride that's really going to get your heart pumping. This is going to be a dramatic lava tube pass that tests your bravery, where you're even going to careen through a dark winding cavern. These are one of Fry's favorites, and Quincy and I did ride both of them with her, and she was super excited about it. So let's keep going. So heading back past the raft rides and back over this lovely bridge, we've got just a few more things to see here in Volcano Bay. And then that's a wrap. Here we are, we are almost completely all the way around 
Volcano Bay. And that's actually gonna take us to back here in this section, right when you get off of both of the raft rides back here, you're going to find kind of buried in the back actually. So right here past the Makupui raft ride exit, you are actually going to find the Rainforest Village uh, restrooms and lockers. This one's a little bit uh, kind of tucked back here, so it might be a little bit harder to find, but it also means that lockers are probably going to be more readily available. So if you're having trouble finding lockers, consider coming back here to Rainforest Village, and I could almost bet you'd find a few empty ones. So then right next to that exit for the ride and next to the lockers, you are going to find one of the last quick service options here uh, in Volcano Bay. All right, so here it is. This is Bamboo Jungle Kitchen. This is where you're gonna find things like the island chicken salad, the bamboo burger, and the mahi sandwich. Again, this is just another fun little quick service location here. And this is one of those quick service locations that on slower days will not be open. Uh, but, you know, always check it out. You're gonna kinda know if it's busier or not today. Again, very slow day. So it is not open, but I can almost guarantee during spring break time and summer crowds, this one's gonna be open. All right, so passing on past Bamboo uh, Jungle Kitchen, we're gonna find just a few more locations to kind of relax, maybe one one or two more rides. But again, I've already said this, uh, just wanna re reiterate, there is tons of seating all throughout the entire park, especially here in the back where there are a lot of people will kind of plant their stuff the first place they see. So if you're not finding seating that you're really excited about or you think is just not prime time seating, walk towards the back of the park first and then consider, you know, scoping out that area. If you guys can see this mist that's kind of throughout the park, you know, a lot of people think, oh, this must be for, you know, cooling people down on hot days. Uh, no, this is actually just, it's sunscreen. You should walk through the sunscreen. That's not true, but wouldn't it be funny if it was? We just continued kind of walking around um, that bend. Right here is going to be where you're gonna find Oh Yeah and Oh No drop slides. These are a pair of drop slides that kind of go together. The Oh Yeah of Oh Yeah and Oh No is where guests will need to ascend the slide off a cliff even before getting into the twisting waters of the Oh Yeah drop slide. The slide's finale will drop riders four feet into the pool below. And then right next to it is Oh No. Oh no, it's just like its partner, but it's a little bit more intense. The riders are gonna have to navigate a rope bridge in order to get to the attraction. Then they're gonna drop six feet into the waiting pool below. So very similar rides, but a little different. And if you're looking for something a little bit more exciting, check out the Oh No side. So right here is the entrance to Oh No and Oh Yeah. And to wrap up this entire tour, we are here at Kala and Tai Nui. All right, so here's the entrance and the exit for the Kala and Tai Nui Serpentine Body Slides. This is where you're gonna jo join Kala and Tai Nui where the sky meets the sea and take a leap of faith from atop the volcano. This ride has twin trap doors that plunge two guests at a time downward to intertwining tubes before sending them into the splashing turquoise waters below. And this one, I have never gotten on and if I can help it, I won't <laughs> because just drop slides, drop doors, that's not my scene you guys, but maybe it's yours. If you're not into body slides, then you're looking for something a little bit more relaxing. You're going a little bit more my speed. We are gonna head past the icy frozen stand and either along either of these paths to find one of the best spots, I think, in all of Volcano Bay. So in my opinion, I have saved one of the best for last. This is Puka Uli Lagoon. This is gonna be a relaxing leisure pool that features lots of fun little playful elements that even the tiniest Watori can enjoy, like tropical bongo drums and even spraying jets water. This one's really relaxing, it's calm, and a majority of people are not gonna be back here, so that's why it's one of my favorite spots. So that is it for every single attraction here at Volcano Bay. There is one more thing I want to show you, but we're gonna have to head inside the volcano to check it out. So I'm gonna take you past Kala and Tai Nui to take you inside the volcano. So here's the high stepper. You actually can go all the way to the top, but if you want to go meet Vol, the spirit of Krakatawa, this is a walkthrough interactive experience in the volcano. Wah! So we are definitely going to be getting wet as we walk through here, but I asked the lifeguard and she said we won't get soaked. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Oh, we're going to get soaked. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't want to do it. All right. I found my rain jacket. This is not what I signed up for. I signed up for a full tour. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! I don't know what's about to happen. This is crazy. person like 
like live interacting with you, having conversations with you uh, throughout that experience. Kind of like the water fountain over in Islands of Adventure. Somebody's there chit-chatting with you. And I just think that's so neat. And like, you, I don't know, that's so unique, so cool. And that's the best way to end a full tour of Volcano Bay is with the volcano god himself. Okay, that's it for this full tour, friends. I can't believe we made it this far and only got a little bit wet. Big day for me. This is my kind of water park. But if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go check out our full perfect day here at Volcano Bay already up on the channel. I'll see you there.